Hi, I'm Lucas Pinhel. I made by my stories, my photos, and my videos out of my work. Yes, I'm from Brazil. If you ask me, I don't know how I end up where I am now. Traveler. It sounds fancy, right? I was traveling around the world every single month past three years and I didn't even have time to think about how crazy it is. I've never dreamed about it before. Things just happen. But today, after all these memories and trips, well, I think I was born for this. Traveling the world is just complicated. It's like a whole new life beginning each month. You visit different places, meet new people, learn new languages, new culture, try different foods, and after overall, I'm back home. You enjoy your best experiences, you make memories, you make incredible friends, a bond of friendship, and it's time to live. Again, restart. This is the worst part, and I really meant it. But at the same time, this taught me more about my life. The way about each thing I have, the way about my family, my job, our difference, the nature of my lose, the way about the content I promote, how do I impact the society, the legacy I want to leave, the way about my life, and I'm just 26. But all the things, all my thoughts, it's almost impossible to realize how magnificent it is. Maybe we don't. Maybe we are thinking too much. Maybe we just need to live. Overthinking will kill your reality. Yes, Ellen Watts. Now I can finally understand you. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we can choose science with the real world. is somehow spoiled for us and less photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature with mere signs, we are destroying things. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't real. It isn't material, that's just an idea. Reality is...
you as you are. One must live. We need to survive and to go on. We must go on. Com vocês, o poder da natureza. E aí, amigo, beleza? Tudo certo com você? Olha aqui pra galera. You like it? Olha a beaker. Yes, they're beautiful. <risos> Não. Tá tirando uma foto nossa, ó. E ela ainda gira o barco pra pegar o melhor ângulo, o melhor enquadramento. Vai achando que não é fotógrafo. Aí, ó. Eu morro de ver de altura. Onde o desgramado Tô me falou? Vai trabalhar comigo. Ó, tem ó. Que ter Tô Tô onde ele tá apoiando <risos> pra não cair. Tá Olha isso aqui. Vocês têm noção da altura disso aqui? Estamos aqui. Comandante Moisa na escuta. E aí, Rodolfo, tudo certo aí, cara? Nossa senhora! Esse casal aqui, ó, Ricardo <risos> e a Canela. Quem que chegou, Preta? Quem que chegou? Vem aqui! Vem aqui comigo! Vem aqui! Vem aqui! Você tá funcionando? Então... Largou! Oi, filho! Oi, mãe! Olha onde... Quem diria, hein, mãe? Olha onde estamos, New York, together. 